Hi everyone. Well, it's Wednesday and oh, as much as I would love to do another Wellness Wednesday and kind of catch everyone up where I am, I am just going to be doing that open collab that I'm in that I'm so excited to be part of. It is the hashtag plan fun and get things done. So I'll be showing my everyday planner, my happy planner, and I thought I would add in a week here from my wellness journal as well. And anyway, I'm so glad that you guys are here to join us and I hope that you guys stick around and join me. everyone I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping in it really means the world to me so thank you from the bottom of my heart if you are new to my channel and you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet I hope you hit that little red subscribe button at the bottom of the screen I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos today we are using our new open collab for our planners and I am so thankful for Jazzy at Crafty Girl Chronicles for taking on this new project and hosting our Plan With Me videos. The new hashtag is hashtag plan fun, get things done. So when you post your videos, just use that hashtag and be sure to reference our lovely hostess, Jazzy at Crafty Girl Chronicles. And these uh, planners can be anything that you do, whether it's meal planning, maybe your work schedule, maybe it's an exercise schedule, or your children's after school curricular activities. Maybe you're in college or even high school and you just want to log when you have tests and study dates and things like that, and meal planning everyday chores it's anything that you want to plan and show us it can be in a regular planner a journal you can do it on a scrap of paper you can do it on a calendar or maybe an excel spreadsheet or an online journal or planner on your computer anyway it's just so much fun just uh, i hope that if you join us you just uh, use that hashtag plan fun get things done in your title and be sure to thank our lovely hostess jazzy at crafty girl chronicles so today i am showing both my wellness journal and my regular planner this first one is my wellness journal it is for the week of monday january 22nd going through sunday january 28th and I just uh, log a few things in here. I started to do the treadmill, but I just uh, ran into some problems and needed to cut back on that. But I do keep track of my work hours. So for this week, it's a five-day work week. I put in 60 hours, 60 hours and 15 minutes. I only get paid for 40, so as you can tell, my stress level sometimes is a little high. I have an under desk elliptical that I use while I'm working. I am nowhere where I used to be where I could do that for 10 hours a day. Um, yeah, I'm not there yet. But anyway, for the week, I put in 37,860 steps. I had pedaled for 11 hours, 22 minutes, and I had pedaled for 15 hours and 14 minutes. I did use the treadmill a couple of days that week. I used it for 40 minutes. I had only done 1.6 miles and I did my Fitbit. Uh, my Fitbit I had 17,200 steps for 3.12 miles and for my total exercise time for the week it was 11 hours, 0.8, 11.8 hours. I had pedaled or walked for 19.88 miles and the calories I burned from what these things tell me was 11,853. I do take track of my temperature every day. I just want to make sure I'm not getting any type of infection. I take my oxygen levels, which this week was really, really good. My blood pressure, not so great. I think my lowest for the week was 122 over 61, and my highest was 143 over 71. So I have got some work to do. And this is my everyday planner. This is the big happy planner. And again, it is from Monday, January 22nd through Sunday, January 28th. So on Monday, just a normal work day, I worked for 12 hours. I uploaded my Color and Create uh, video. Um, I had a full truckload of Castrol delivery to come in to inventory and log in. 
I got a ordered a wine rack. It came in and one of the holes has a chunk of metal in it that I can't get out. So I did contact customer service and I am waiting to see what they are going to do to help me on that. I worked on YouTube for about three hours and I also walked on the treadmill and I also did laundry. I must have been behind to do it on a Monday. On to Tuesday. So again, another 12 hour workday. I uploaded Timu number 40. I talked to Sabrina. She's got some health issues going on. So I hope everyone kind of keeps Sabrina in their thoughts as she goes through some testing to see what's going on. Um, I was just really tired from doing the treadmill. So I decided to skip the treadmill. I printed some pictures to do in, use in my planner for the next week. And I worked on YouTube for about five hours. On to Wednesday, I worked 12 and a half hours. I ended up ordering a new laptop. Um, one of my laptops, it's just really, really sluggish. And so I just figured I wanted to get another one before that one died. I worked on the treadmill for a little bit. Uh, it was trash night. I worked on YouTube for about three and a half hours. And I decided to make a commitment to myself to try to use the treadmill a little bit more and I wanted to get back into reading every night. So I picked up the book that I started reading months ago and haven't touched it since. It's The Only Survivors. So I got to read for a little bit that night and it's a really good book. The Only Survivors by Megan Miranda. On to Thursday. So I worked 12 hours and 15 minutes. I uploaded my hashtag plan fun, get things done. I had pizza for dinner, I had a grocery delivery, and also my Keurig coffee shipment came in, and I was able to work on YouTube for about four hours, and I read for a little bit that night as well, and I had a glass of wine. Alrighty, on to Friday. So I've got my sticker here. It's Friday. I love the sticker right here, the little wine. It was from GP Studios. I think she went out of business. It was from Australia. She had some really, really good quality stickers. I really love them. So anyway, for work, short work day. I only worked 11 and a half hours. I uploaded my wine diaries and it was a Wink Wine Box 21 Bottle One. I sent paperwork to the office. I was able to work on YouTube for about six hours and then I started to read but I fell asleep. On to Saturday. Started the week with some coffee and um, the week before, that week before I went uh, all week without my work day without having a cup of coffee. So on Saturday it really felt good. I had um, uploaded the Let's In Style, the affordable jewelry. That was my video number three and announced another giveaway. Um, I worked in my planner. I also finished coloring the page that I was working on. And then I did a video of the planner, the coloring page, and also taste test Tuesday. And I was able to work on YouTube for about eight hours. On to Sunday, had another cup of coffee, felt so, so good. I edited the videos that I did on Saturday. I also videoed a, another wine diary and I videoed my Ipsy glam bag. I did some laundry and I laid out my planners for the next week. And my brother's birthday is coming up the week of February 6th. So I wanted to go through and look for some pictures that I would be using in my planner that week. The sticker, I put the sticker over here and it just says, love life, stories, picture, laughter, and memories. And I just put, um, even though I was um, committed to do the treadmill every other day, it would just was too much for me. Thought I would take a break for a few weeks. And when I start up again, I'm not going to push myself like I did this last time. When I first started, I said, oh, I'm going to do five, maybe 10 minutes of the day at the most. And I think on the third day, I was doing 20 minutes and had the incline up to five and tried to run here and there. And it was it was just too much for me. It set me back a little bit. It could be because of the cold that I still got going on. But when I go back to it, it's going to be, I'm going to make myself just do slow pace, five, 10 minutes a day, maybe do that for a whole week and then maybe just go up from there. That's my plan anyway. Alrighty, so I just have one day at a time right here. And then I just put down that I was inspired by Jazzy, our hostess, to tackle little projects at a time. So I decided to tackle my downstairs kitchen. As you know, when Rick was here and 
uh, carpet is not really conducive for wheelchairs so we finished the downstairs it was all open put another bathroom in put another full kitchen in a bedroom and just a really big open space um, so I was using that kitchen downstairs before I moved myself back upstairs but I've got canned goods and things in there and spices that are like seven years old I did empty out the refrigerator years ago but I never did the uh, canned goods and spices but I figure seven years old it's time to let those things go. So I've been taking out a bag a week. So on every Wednesday for trash night, I at least put one bag in there. So just little steps. So thanks to Jazzy, it just kind of is making this project go a little bit easier than trying to clean everything at once. Um, even though I failed on the treadmill, I still managed to get in a few nights of reading. I am enjoying my Book of the Month Club, The Only Survivors. I hope to continue to turn off all the electronics by 1 a.m. and try to read 30 minutes to an hour every night. I have so many books and need to read them, not just collect them. So anyway, that is it for my week. I hope everyone goes out. Have a fantastic week. And thanks so much for joining me. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you in our next video. Mm -hmm.